good afternoon, uh, adjudicators, audience, and fellow debaters. I am the third speaker of the opposition team, reinstating the fact that affirmative action should not be scrapped. Now, first off, I'd like to address a few points made by the proposition team. The first speaker said that instead of affirmative action, we should provide education for the minorities. Education is part of the affirmative action, like, it, it's part of affirmative action. I'd like to reinstate the fact that it's education, employment, and integration into cultural societies that are actually what affirmative action is trying to project. So by stating that actually we should try and give them education, not just straight into colleges, you're contradicting yourself. And then the first speaker also talked about how cultural differences don't mean that you have um, different perspectives on things because people in the same culture will have different perspectives, so it doesn't make a difference. Well. The difference in cult cultural differences are of totally different backgrounds. Some people that were brought up in the same country cannot provide the same difference in perspective that people in different countries are brought up on because they were taught in different ways. They were taught through different means. So that cultural diversity Point of information. Not now, please. Globalized world is what we're heading towards, and that is basically cultural diversity. Why do schools like try to encourage international connections? Why do we have foreign exchange students? Because cultural diversity does actually embed a good, it creates an upbringing and it helps to look at things from different perspectives. Now, the second speaker also talked about how it. It's based on, um, it means that talent isn't brought out and it means that people that are only, they're only based on race and gender when they're accepted. Well, why is it then that when a black man has the same qualifications as a white man, they are not given the job because he is a black man? Why is it that when a black man... Um, so, do you know the very board of affirmative action which, which started in the United States, it was against, if I'm using the derogatory word, black against that, again, it was for the name that blacks are not getting equal rights. And currently, you just yourself said the why of poor man, what, that is what we're against. Why is it based on the skin color? What? Affirmative action is based on yes, skin color. Like to, basically, when, what we're saying is, when the white man had the same qualification as the black man, the reason that white man was accepted was because of discrimination being integrated in society. So with a more interaction, that black man is going to have that same opportunity as that white man. And that, in effect, is equality. Why is it that when, when you take a percentage from the white man's employment and his salary, the black man only gets 74% of his percentage? Why is it that even a white woman only gets 80% of his percentage of salary? It's because people are not given the same opportunities without affirmative action. Now, Speaker 2 also stated that affirmative action isn't necessary because discrimination is kind of an out 